We love our Rad Mini Power Bikes, and whenever we were doing our research, there were a few questions that we just couldn't find just the right answer for. One of them was, what is it like to go through the unboxing and assembly process? So we did it on our own, we made a video, and we would love for you to check that out. Another question we had was, how do you fold these minis up without having metal to metal contact? What kind of tote do we need? And would they fit in our RV? So we made a video of that too, be sure to check it out. Well today, this is our final uh, rad bike uh, video in our series, and we're gonna show how we use the Burley trailer and how it attaches to the Rad Mini Power Bike. This is the Burley tail wagon, and we use this to take Jasper, our golden retriever, with us on all of our adventures. It allows us to cover further distances and take our friend with us. And so this has a couple of little straps that pop open, and it has a compartment inside uh, for him in which to ride. These are the different parts of the Burley tail wagon. You have the main unit, and you have two wheels, and they all come apart and everything collapses for easy storage and transport. And the assembly of this is pretty genius and it's very easy to do. The wheels attach very simply. Just put the wheel into the socket and lock. Repeat on the other side. And the wheels are all set. This next part is super simple. Raise both parts. and clip in place. It's that easy. The, uh, the tail wagon is completely assembled. Now we just need to hook it to our bike. There is one part that does have to be mounted to the bike. This piece right here affixes to the rear axle and once it's in place, it can stay put. And that's what the Burley trailer will hook up uh, each time you need to use it. Our next step is to hook the trailer to the bike. We're gonna line up the holes Insert the pin. Lock it in place. And then secure the safety strap. Because I have a little extra room, I actually loop the strap through two times to make sure that there's not much excess. And there's a little pin or a little loop right down here. And now we are attached and ready to go. You have a couple of options on these flaps. Uh, first of all, you have some rain shields. These are just plastic that it's clear and that can fold over and zip into place in case it's raining. Typically, you would leave those up in place for maximum ventilation and visibility. And then again, you have these two little uh, hooks that, that can expose the back end for loading and unloading. This rear panel also unbuckles and lays flat so your dog can walk right in. Now one of the tips that we learned, if you have a dog that's a little uneasy and might squeeze or press out through the side, one of the tips is to actually put the top flap down first and then do the back over the top. And that provides a little extra stability. On the front, this also unclips. And if your dog is used to riding, your dog could ride in here with this flap open. We tend to use it with this flap closed. There is a nice mesh open panel for air and for visibility. We recommend the Burley tail wagon and certainly love our Rad Power Bikes. Be sure to check out our other Rad videos. If you like this video, if you find it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. We would love for you to subscribe and come along on our other adventures. Get out and explore with your dog because today is an adventure day.